in the mixture problem, as I told you, there are two kinds. We have the solute and the solvent. If you say solute, it is the one being dissolved. If you say solvent, it is the substance that dissolves the solute. For example, you have a glass of water and you place some salt in it. Now, the glass, the water is the substance that dissolves. So we say the water is our solvent and salt, which is being dissolved is called the solute. Now, what do we need in the table? We still need to have some table in the mixture problem. We will have the amount of solution. The next one is the percentage of acid. And the last is the amount of acid. Now, how do we solve for the amount of acid? The amount of acid is solved by multiplying the amount of solution, this column, and the percentage of acid. Now, let me first knit our first problem. Now, here's our first problem. Let's start by reading it. A 500 millimeter solution is 20% acid. How much water should be added to the mixture to get a solution that is 5% acid? Now, you ask yourself, what, what objects will you mix? Let's have the first one. Here, we will mix the solution one and water to make the final solution. Now let's start. We have amount of solution. The next is the percentage of acid. Then the last is the amount of acid or the amount of concentration. Now, our problem states that the first solution has 500 ml, 500 milliliter. So we write 500 here. And it is 20% acid. So 20% is the same as 0 0.2. Now, how do we find the volume, the amount of acid? We need to multiply the two. So 500 times 0 0.2, that leaves you 100. The next one, do you know how much water are you going to place? No, right? How much water? So we place here X. And remember, water has no acid. So the percentage is zero. We multiply X times zero, the answer is zero. Now, how do we write our final solution? This, we need to add the two. So we will have 500 plus X. Now, why do you need to add the two? It looks like this one. You have solution one, then you add another or water. If you add them both, then you will have our final solution. How do you know how much is inside? If this is 500 ml, and this is X, you didn't know how, mu how, how much water is there. So the final solution is you add 500 plus X. Now, how about for the amount of acid? It should be 5% acid, so 0 0.05. Then 
we need to multiply both. We have 0 0.05 times 500 plus x. Now let us solve. How to solve this one? Remember, we need, let's go back to this one. The amount of acid in the first, again, solution one plus solution two equals the final solution. What's the amount of acid for solution one? We have 100. How about the second? We have zero. And what is the final solution? It's 0 0.05 times 500 plus x. Let's solve them. 100 plus zero is 100. 0 0.05 times 500 that will give us 25. Then 0 0.05 plus x, 0 0.05x. Let's transpose, transfer 25 to the other side. So 25 becomes negative 25 equals this one, 0.05x. Yes, Andrew, do you have a question? You can unmute your microphone. Again, we divide, we subtract, so that's 75. Then we divide both sides by 0 0.05. So our answer is 1,500 ml. Please do not forget to write the unit of measurement. Water, the water added is in 1,500 ml.